tino tamato pirangi te tahi mokai kuri, and we always said that once the boys were old enough, then we'd actually get one. Hmm. Yeah, but we also, <coughs> the girls have been harping on to us for ages. Yes, they have. About it, so. It's about time we actually get the process started. Nō reira, ko te mahi tuatahi. We've got to make sure that the environment's actually right for the dog. Also, though, kia tika hoki ta mātou whare mō te kuri. Oh, ten <laughs> When you adopt from the SPCA, they have lots of advice they can give people before adopting, and the website has lots of resources for potential dog owners to read through before adopting. Now today we're lucky enough to have Dr. Chelsea checking out our fuddy and giving us some pointers. Lovely to see you again. Well, Long time no see. Indeed, e pehi ana koe. How are you? Good. So time to get a puppy, huh? Indeed it is. Now, I mean, I yep. guess in terms of, um, you know, we feel like we're ready to get a puppy, but what yeah. are the things, what are the basic things that we need okay. to be So yeah, I think consider? probably the easiest thing for us um, is if you think about the five freedoms for pets and for animals when you have them, food and water, so freedom from hunger and thirst, um, to eat, not as easy for them to come and say, hey, we're hungry in the, or the water bowl's empty, so. Just like my 17 yeah. month old boys that just <laughs> yell at things. Exactly. Yep. Um, medical care. So a lot of the times I think we used to tend to say, they'll be right, they'll be fine. Um, so you have a vet, you know your vet, you, know, you do regular checkups just like you would with a child. Um, exercise, so that's one of the good things about you guys having such a big yard and a backyard, which I know we'll go see. Um, shelter, so on a day like this, do they have somewhere to go? Do they have somewhere to get out of the rain? Are they indoor, are they outdoor? When they're indoor, do they have a safe space to go even? That kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, and then freedom from pain and distress sometimes a lot easier if you think of that as love is love and understanding. So. Oh, honestly, we've got a lot of aroha in our family to yep. give to our puppies. I mean, you know, we've got our boys, we've got our girls, and they're pretty amped. Family pet, it's about, a good thing. Yeah. I like to hear that. So, mena ka titiro atu ki te tāo, so if we look out to the environment, I guess initially this is the front yard, I mean the taiapa, the fence, that needs to be sorted. Well, and a lot of times too, it depends on the size of your dog, it depends on how old your dog is. You'd never want to have a puppy out in the front yard off lead at first, just because they don't even know. So the first place they would go to is that gate. They don't understand that they, a lot of dogs do sometimes tend to learn boundaries, depending on the breed you get, um, and where they, you know, what their yard is and what it isn't. But you probably, you would definitely wouldn't want to have them off lead at first up here. Um, but that's all part of the training regimen you do. Mm. So yeah. So we've had a quick look at the front. The front. I reckon we can Show me the back. the back. Yeah. All right, yeah. cool, let's do it. So Chelsea, ko tēnei te takanga o muri, so this is the backyard. So what are the important things that we need to be thinking about? So you've got a pretty good setup here. You've got all of your chemicals and your lawnmowers and stuff already stored in a place that the dogs can't get to. Your garden is actually put away because puppies are going to want to dig anything you plant. Yep. Um, everything's really secure down at that end of the yard. Um, this area is really secure. The fence is high enough. There's enough room for them to run and play. Um, the only things you do think about is what plants are in here, which you don't have any poisonous plants in here, so that's fine. You know, that's the interesting thing, actually, is you talk about um, the types of plants that you actually have yep. in your backyard. Honestly, I... Don't think about it. No. Yeah, it's not something you usually think about. It. More for us with our puppies is, can they get out? That's usually, you know, one of the things the SPCA usually does, our canine team is, um, or our field officers, they'll do a property check, and that's to help you know if you can actually keep your dog in your yard or the things that you need to fix, like we've noticed with your yard. So, but it, it's a pretty good setup back here. So just, look, just a few things to fix and you'll be good to go. Awesome. So Chelsea, kei roto i to tātou whare nai nai. So this is the house, yep. got yep. gates. Yes. Already childproofing. Yes. Um, everything, but I guess the first thing is what are the things that we need to be aware of inside the home for a new pet? So inside, you. Uh, the good thing is because you've got the boys, it, it, child proofing we call it puppy proofing but it really is it's the same thing so the fact that you have the gates in places that they can't get to and the fact that you already have gates around fireplaces you've got half your job done one of the things you want to think about is where you're going to have them sleep um, or where you're going to have them when you're not home so yeah on that i've been thinking that perhaps that would be an okay area for the first 
you know, a week or so with the puppy because we know that they like to cry yep. in their first week. So the only thing about putting puppies in there is you've got baseboards now and you might not have them later. Wicked, yeah. Um, so I am a really big supporter of crate training or kennel training, however you so. And you can put the kennel inside um, and it's the place that they, that way they have their own little space. So say you want to put them in there at first, but later on you're going to want them to sleep in the living room or you're going to want them to sleep in a bedroom. Um, if you have that crate and you set it up like their space, you yep. can move that crate anywhere. So Chelsea, there's already a dog door here. It's pretty convenient. Um, yeah, it is actually, but a good access for the dog, I guess, yeah. to be able to get in and out of the house. Once the boys won't crawl through it. Yeah, yep. well, no, they haven't discovered it yet. So. <laughs> yeah, the deck, that it, being able to go out there and in, it's a great thing once they're house trained too. Um, makes it so much easier for you guys, but your deck is really set up for them too, so that'll be a good space for the dogs and the kids in and out, even if you, if the puppy needs to be out for whatever reason, or the dog, when you have people in here, somebody might be afraid of the dog, mm. um, they can still be included, you can still see them, so that's a really good setup too. Me okay. um momo or So you should also be thinking about the type of dog that you get for your family. Absolutely, a lot of people, and it happens all the time in the SPCA or with certain breeds. You know, they well, I want this dog because it looks that way. Um, how a dog fits into your family is so important. Um, I can't, couldn't have a high-strung dog that needed me to run it every day. I just don't have the time for that. So it really does depend on what kind of dog you want for your family. What dogs do good with kids? What dogs are tough enough for kids? Mm. Well, I know we're going to need a pretty robust <laughs> yep. dog for our for our boys. No reira, irongi te na te na koe. Thank you so much again, Shasta. Uh, Lovely to see you. Yeah, as same. Always. I'm always excited when I know you're getting puppies. Yeah, well, the next time, hopefully, we see you all be <laughs> at the SCCA. And we collect our puppies. Yeah. yeah. Okay.